President, I rise today to speak on the resolution's investment of $8.6 billion through the Senate Committee on Indian Affairs. Our Native American brothers and sisters on tribal lands are four times more likely to contract COVID-19 and twice as likely to die from it. The Navajo Nation has seen extended families ravaged by disease. Families like the Muskets, who are careful to protect their elderly parents, Benjamin and Louise, from the virus. Despite taking the necessary precautions and having access to electricity and running water, something many of our Navajo brothers and sisters still lack, the whole family became ill. Because the overburdened IHS-run medical center closest to them was unable to treat Benjamin's advanced condition, he was flown to one of the nearest hospitals in Albuquerque that would have taken hours to get there by car. He died far from his beloved Louise. And five days later, Louise also passed. In New Mexico, community members and students are still mourning the loss of Laura Escalante, a beloved Tewa teacher at Puaca Valley High School from the Pueblo of San Aldifonso. Miss Laura, as she was known, imparted on her students a pride in themselves through language. And her funeral procession from Oke Owinga Pueblo to San Aldifonso Pueblo brought mourners out from their homes to the roadways to bid farewell to the teacher of more than 20 years. Sadly, there are too many Native American families and communities mourning loved ones. This resolution strikes at the heart of the health disparities and circumstances that make tribal communities more vulnerable to COVID-19. It provides tribal and public governments with critical funding to take action against the deadly virus and the havoc it has wrecked on their citizens, their economies, and public health infrastructure. The budget resolution provides necessary investments to support tribal governments who have struggled to maintain public and social safety network services. It also provides the Indian Health Service, which is the primary vaccine provider for over 330 tribal nations and urban Indian health organizations with funding and resources to respond to this crisis. Access to nearby hospitals and emergency services may be dozens, even hundreds of miles away in my state. And we must do everything in our power here in the Senate, here in the House, and in Washington, D.C., to ensure that every hospital and clinic has the staff and supplies to get families the care they need. Our response to COVID-19 must support and protect the most vulnerable amongst us. Today's resolution recognizes that, and I'm proud to support it. Madam President, I yield the floor.